With counterfeit bills and lottery fraud now major concerns, residents are taking the time to learn how to protect themselves from becoming a victim of fraud. In 2007, the most commonly counterfeited note was the $20 bill. It made up 70% of all counterfeit notes that year. You hear so much about uh, people passing money that's not real. My husband had money and he looked at it and he thought, they're not real. So he got one at the bank and he gives them to the girl. He said, I don't think they are real. She said, she took them away to the bank. She said, no, they are. <laughs> they must have looked strange. But he was concerned. You know, you don't want to pass something on to anyone else. Representatives from the Bank of Canada, RCMP and Sudbury Police were giving tips on how to detect counterfeit bills and lottery frauds during a free seminar at the main library branch Tuesday afternoon. Basically you always want to make sure you check your notes. The last person to have a counterfeit in their, in their hands will take the loss of a counterfeit note. Bank of Canada recommends using what we call the till method. So you want to touch, tilt, look at and look through your bills. Um, touch your note, feel for racing, feel the texture of the paper. You want to tilt it, you want to look for a color shift in the metallic stripe on the left hand side of the note. And you want to look through your note. So hold it up to a light and you're going to see a ghost image in the center of the note. You're also going to see a dotted line which is a security thread and that will form a solid line when you hold it up to the light. The police say anyone who receives an email or letter in the mail saying they've won the lottery in places like Spain or the UK should either delete the email or throw the letter out because they're all just scams. But fraudsters are stepping up their game and not only asking for your bank account information but your personal information as well. The fraudsters now are also asking for uh, other information such as your mother's maiden name because a, a lot of uh, banking institutions ask for that as a password or a um, security question and once they get that info then they use that to drain your bank account. The Bank of Canada has educational materials on how to educate yourself on detecting counterfeits available on their website at www.bankofcanada.ca. Mandy Hargrave, northernlife.ca.